Hello bandits. Courtesy to the folks at X Real Games, I've been checking out the VR shooter title Zero Calibre Reloaded. Following up the well-regarded Zero Calibre for premium PC-linked headset, Zero Calibre Reloaded runs natively on the Oculus Quest and Quest 2 standalone platforms. This title brings some great gun customization options along with some pretty decent single-player campaign and multiplayer scenarios. There are a great number of different weapons and attachments that you'll unlock as you run through the various different campaign levels. It's not the most realistic title I've played, but the option to run through the campaign solo or with up to three friends really makes this one worth a look for those looking for a new VR shooter. Zero Calibre Reloaded is rated by Kiddy at 16 and above on the Oculus Store. Being a military shooter, it is one which comes with a fair amount of blood and of course not a little violence. Strangely, even with this in mind, the bad language in the game has been moderated with crackling radio static and even outright bleeps. Overall, with the first person, immersive nature of the battlefield, I'd say it's probably not one for the younger generation. In terms of accessibility, Zero Calibre Reloaded picks up a rating of moderate, matching its rating on the official Oculus Store. The control system isn't quite as on point as other titles such as Onward, but it's still not a bad showing and it is one you'll get used to. The flick stick controls to stand and crouch and also jump do mean that it's playable sitting or standing and even with limited mobility, and there are the usual left and right handed options too. And with that stacked up onto the rundown. Visuals fair. Graphics are the most notable difference between the Quest's native version and the standard PC backed Zero Calibre. While they're not shockingly bad and the detail on the weapons themselves is fairly good, the different environments do look pretty basic, even just as a standalone title. Audio good. There is some great use of audio effects and music in this one, and the voice acting is actually much better than expected, even if it's far from perfect. It's clear that focus has been put into the armory effects, which really is the thing that most people will be grabbing this one for. Narrative, good. Again, this is much better than expected, and there's a decent little background narrative through the campaign levels. While I was looking forward to the gunplay here, I've actually found myself quite engaged with the story, which was a quite welcome surprise. Replay, great. The many different campaign levels, huge number of weapons and customization options and the multiplayer really mean that this one has a good place in our quest library. There are a great number of reasons to either push on or replay levels and bring your friends in for a nice team shooter experience. Overall, the Pixel Bandit's hoorah level for Zero Calibre Reloaded is that you'll probably find it enjoyable. It's not the strongest shooter on Quest, but if you're looking for a title with a great range of different weaponry, various customization options and a nice campaign, this one is certainly worth a look. There is some really good replay here, and while it's not the most realistic, and the environment visuals could do with a little more polish, the detail on weaponry and multiple options available will please those looking to play around with a slightly more arcade than realistic shooter. And that's all I've got for you today. Don't forget to check out the extended review at pixelbandits.org and keep your eyes out for more news, reviews and live streams coming soon. If you can spare enough for a coffee, every donation helps us keep Pixel Bandits ad free and independent and either way we'll see you again very soon so don't wander too far.